Okay, guys, so it's been brought to my attention by several people that I really, really hate Traxxas. Um, that's news to me because I don't really, really hate Traxxas at all, actually. I own several of their products and would own a few more. But um, people seem to think because I do call out some of their bullshit that I'm just number one hater, and I'm not. So, I mean, look, there's Traxxas engines all over the place. There's one there. There's one there. There's another one there. Another one over there. And a 3.3. And I have a T-Max. Um, I don't have tire glue yet. I'm still waiting on that. Should be here tomorrow. Hopefully here today. I can glue these guys up and we'll get this guy out and get bashing again. But anyways, so what I dislike about Traxxas is they tend to monopolize hobby shops, meaning that um, they don't want any other competition at all. They want nobody else in there but them. So if you have a hobby shop that sells like Team Lossy, Team Associated, HPI, Techno, uh, Arma, whatever, um, you know, what Trax is going to do is say to the hobby owner, look, if you want to carry our brand, we'll offer you this, but you have to push everybody else out and sell nothing but our shit. Uh, which is kind of annoying because then when you go to the hobby shop that you used to know and love, they have nothing but Traxxas stuff there. Traxxas plugs, Traxxas fuel, this, that, the other, and the next thing, right? Where you don't want that. You want something else for your Team Lossy, your Truggy, whatever the hell you got. So now you got to go to another hobby shop somewhere else, or you got to order online and wait for a week or two to get it, which is super freaking irritating. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. The other is suing people. Traxxas gets their knickers in a knot and sues everybody over every stupid little thing they can possibly sue you for. Um... Like the HPI Savage whole thing, when that went down, they sued HPI a bunch of times because of a gasket that was put in the receiver pack, or the battery box on the Savages, and I think a few other other vehicles. But the thing is, nobody had patented that. Traxxas patented it. It had been already done for a handful of years on other vehicles. Traxxas patented that, went, oh, we patent that, you can't have that, so they sued HPI until they pretty much went out of business. They did the same thing with Arma. Um... Where if you notice that the Revo has laid down shocks or I guess cantilever shocks or however you say that. And so the shocks being out here, they're in the middle and they compress this way. Um, the thing is Team Associated did that in the 80s. There's companies out there that were doing this long before Traxxas did and the Traxxas went, oh, that's patent that. And then of course, Arma did it. Traxxas sued them and tried to put them out of business. So it's a really shitty business you know, thing, how they did that. I think that's really low and underhanded. <clears throat> Do I hate the products? No, I think things could be done better, to be honest. But I mean, for an entry-level truck that you're just going to go out and fuck around the backyard with, they're absolutely fine. Um, now, a lot of people say, oh, you hate on their engines. They're freaking 3.3s or massive power and this, that, and the racing engines. Da -da 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 -da. Well, I'm here to tell you that <laughs> Traxxas engines are not racing engines. Um... A racing engine has no pull starter, back plate, that's it. No, so if you look at the back of it, it doesn't have that. Um, these are not, it's just a different cylinder, I don't know, 3.3. But um, these are not racing engines. They are just a cheap Taiwanese three-port motor, that's it. They don't have anything special about them. They're not balanced like everyone says they are, and they're not all this high. I'm sure the 3.3 goes pretty good and produces all right power. Uh, if you put a decent pipe on it, a low C 3.4 carbon run a good 30% fuel. Yeah, they, they, they freaking rip along pretty good. And they'll tune a lot better. But I've had a lot of people saying, oh, you know, Dynamite 19, what a shitty engine. Well, here's the thing. Both the 3.3s, or actually all these engines, and including this, are all made in the same factory in Taiwan. Um, the Dynamite 19 is actually a better design. It has a much stronger connecting rod including bronze bushings at both ends, and it's a 5-port instead of a 3-port, so it actually does breathe better, and it also has a larger venturi in the carburetor, as well as a metal carburetor, and a much better designed crankshaft and bigger gas passage and everything else. So it is actually a slightly higher performance engine, although its displacement is smaller. So a lot of people keep going, oh, my 3.3 will wipe the floor with it. Well, um, it's a pretty freaking close race, and who cares, to be honest? You know, we're not out there freaking on a, on a competition track racing with it. But uh, the Dynamite 19 is a, is a terrific engine for the money. So everyone else is going on about the racing engine shit. And, oh, I have the racing engine. Oh, racing engine, racing engine. 
oh, we won our own class. And they literally ran in the monster truck class and won their own class once. And that was like in 2002 or some shit. So they didn't, they don't really hold any championships. Um, another thing is lying about shit that they're not going to think you're going to look into any farther than just reading the box, which is these engines actually in 3.3, especially in the 2.5 used to be better engines. They used to be much stronger. And by that, I mean, instead of having an nice CNC aluminum piston, they went with a cheap cast piston instead to save money because instead of this being in a CNC machine for, say, five minutes, you can pour a mold of these and do 100 at once in five minutes and then just machine the outside, machine the face, put the oil uh, groove in, do minimal work to save money. And as well as the connecting rods, people keep going, oh, why the hell do you keep bitching about that? Why do you keep bitching about it? Nah, 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 nah. Well, here's what the old connecting rod used to look like. Oil hole in the top, as you can see. It's not going to focus because it's shiny, but it's there. So Trax has realized, well, shit, these things last way too long. Let's change this. So they're CNC lightweight high strength racing connecting rod has been made weaker and i've showed this many times before you can see how that groove only goes about halfway up and it's like that on the other side too what they've done is they moved the oil hole underneath drilled a hole there and then made that groove really deep down both sides to make this really weak so when this little bit of meat in here gets loose and the piston pin starts hammering, it'll split the rod like if it was a hit with an axe. And people don't want to believe that. But you can Google it. Traxxas connecting rod failure. And you'll see thousands and thousands of photos about it. And even if you go to Traxxas about that, they'll basically deny it and say that you're an idiot. Um, but anyways, I digress on that. Because people argue to the death. And people get so upset because they don't want to hear something they just spent money on. And they've been lied to about it. You know what I mean? They don't want to hear that they, they just went out and spent seven eight hundred dollars on a truck and, and fuel and all this stuff. And they kind of got, you know, they got they got bullshitted a little bit, right? You know, this engine doesn't make three horsepower like it's advertised. It doesn't rev to fifty thousand RPM. Uh, I mean, there's all kinds of forms saying that there is, but you know, there's no actual dyno footage or known written down proof that it's actually happened. So, and they grossly overestimate these engines. I mean maybe 0 0.8 maybe 0.9 horsepower maybe about the same with that one you get the big block stuff maybe one and a half horsepower i mean they're all grossly over overrated and uh like i said even here's a brand new piston and sleeve for a 3.3 and uh you can see cast not cnc and when i said three port some people say it's a four no it's exhaust we're not counting the exhaust you only count the transfer so you got one two and three where this one has five and i've shown that in other videos but like i keep saying uh do i hate traxxas no i don't hate their vehicles i don't like the way the company's managed and kind of the way they do things and like i said things could be done better um things could be a little bit more well made but uh they're not they're, they're never going to do that uh when they say fastest name in rc they're really not uh like i said it's a lot of marketing hype and shit just to get the customers attracted to what they're doing so Hate their business practices, don't mind their vehicles, not a huge hater, like everyone thinks. So I just wanted to clear that up, uh, because like I said, I've gotten all kinds of, you're a freaking Traxxas hater, 3.3s for life, baby, kind of comments. So just here to squash that little bit of beef, so if you want to come hating about it, that's fine. Uh, if you're going to leave derogatory and rude, stupid comments, and call me a, call me all sorts of names, well, you're just going to get freaking deleted, so, um, you know... Don't even waste your time. But uh, one thing I think, though, is uh, that engine there <laughs> would go really good in there. Or I think the Revo actually should have come with a motor like this from stock. I think it should have come with a 21 in it, to be honest. would actually be nice to see Traxxas um, kind of come up with some new stuff for the Nitro side of things. Because, I mean, literally, they sell you a 15, a 15, and a 15, and a 3.3. Because people go, oh, it's a 1.5. No, it's 0 0.15, 0 0.15. 0 0.15 is 2.5 cc, if you didn't know that. So, when they say that you should upgrade from the Pro 15 to a 2.5, you're really upgrading to another 15. 
Uh, the Pro 15 doesn't make as much power, but with a correct carburetor, fuel pipe, etc., they actually run pretty freaking awesome, as you guys have seen. Uh, people go, oh, get the 2.5R racing engine. Guess what you're buying for $80 more? Another 2.5. There is no difference. They are all the same engine with a different cylinder head and an $80 higher price tag. They're all a three-port motor. Nothing here is racing engine. Okay, so when they try to tell you that it's a racing engine, they're feeding you full of shit, just putting it out there. Anyways, guys, but like I said again, I am waiting on my tire glue because mine, unfortunately, had gone bad from sitting forever, and I will glue up these new pro lines, and we will go out, and we will go bashing. I just have to adjust my end like a chair, too, because it's a little bit out of whack from the new radio. Other than that, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Keep on burning nitro out there. Later.